now. Just waiting for everyone to show up. We're doing Charlie Problem, problem Inc. today. Charlie Problem. Bleh. Cannot speak for the life of me. Who the guest star from? My word thing. This is going to be a bit awkward of a setup. Just because. Trying to make sure, like, everything is set up properly. Perfect. Hopefully, I don't have to edit. Six, Seven, eight. nine, eight, nine, ten. I care more about the voice than anything else. So. Nine, ten. 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 <laughs> Neat. <laughs> windowed mode, of course. This is a windowed mode. Dyslexic font. There we go. And continue. So, hey, so this is going to be a very interesting concept because I'm going to be explaining a lot of complicated shit. So, hopefully, I make some sense. But let's start with a solo campaign and I'll. Explain as I go. Let's open the letter. The following game contains adult themes. It does not contain explicit language, sexual content, horror, or show violence. Choices matter, so please take your time. Player discretion is still advised. Please and sign your name below. <clears throat> That's rude. <laughs> Wait, what? Actions speak louder than words. Fuck you. Sorry, my, my, my thing went... Welcome to Trolley Problem Inc. No. S options. Oh my gosh, that's a pain in the ass. Continue. I wanted window mode, damn it. Campaign, let's resume. Actions speak louder than words. Welcome to Trolley Problem Inc. Founded to help people travel safely across the nation. All our employees must show three core values. Responsibility, integrity, and respect. With that in mind, let's start your training. Ah, there we go. Next. There's a runaway trolley barreling down the railway tracks. On the tracks are five people unable to move. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will switch to a different set of tracks. However, you notice there is a person on the other track. What do you do? Okay, so... So, in this wheel, oh. you can choose whether you want to kill so you're just gonna one do person nothing. or five. So, I'm going to choose the lever. I'll explain I after that all this. person's family and friends will forgive you. I really don't give a shit. So, the problem with the trolley problem is that... It's requiring you to make a huge decision with barely any information. And the problem is that it wants you to figure out, do you feel guilty over one person dying? Usually we don't expect candidates to kill someone on their first day. I would have killed anyone but anyway. We'll give you the benefit Fuck of the off. doubt on this one. Just think a little more before acting next time. Okay, so the issue is, is that this wants killing one person. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Why? There. Anyway. Do you feel guilty over killing one person through action versus killing five people through inaction? Who is at fault? So who really is at fault? This wants you to feel bad that you allowed a person to die, but who set this situation up in the first place? You are literally only a bystander. You are just as innocent as the people 
you allowed to die. You would have allowed anyone to die anyway. So, you know, existential crisis. Um, this is easier because you can just go with, let's kill the least amount of people. And then it gets way more complicated from here. And I think at one point you're told to kill a dictator or something. I really don't give a fuck. Um, we'll get there when we get there. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This test will focus on the first principle, responsibility. Here's Polly. She's five years old. While she loves to play in the sand with her dolls, she dreams of looking after the world. Polly's destiny is to grow up to be a great doctor. More of us should take a leaf out of her book. Okay, so this one is going to be, will you kill Polly, who is wanting to become a doctor, or will you kill five other people? This one is even more complicated because I will explain in a few moments. A trolley is heading towards another five people. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will derail and descend down a hill heading for the park's sandpit. You notice that Polly is in the sandpit, sculpting her dream hospital. What do you do? There we go. What? I can't do this? Fuck you. Are you not saving them just because they aren't as cute as Polly? I'm not doing it because I have, like, really complicated reasons, bitch. So... I wonder if any of the five are children. Or maybe all of them. Awesome. The thing is, like, you can't make a good decision based... Yeah, I'm unchoosing that thing. So... Why am I in this situation to begin with? And that is a question that we need to really be asking. being responsible. The dictionary definition, to be the primary cause of something and so able to be blamed or credited for it. Are you to blame for those five deaths? Pull we'll lever and let a, rain, a train diverge and fall off. That is not an actual thing with, um... That's not really a thing that can be done. Because... This is assuming that you knew the future and you could really process everything in the few minutes and few seconds they have. So, it's really complicated, but the trolley problem is kind of bullshit to begin with. So, it's at, why, damn it, why are you being blamed? There we go. Why are you being blamed when you are literally a helpless bystander? Finish. The end justifies the means. The key to this test is integrity. This is Tyrone. He is a 30-year-old secretary at a law firm who enjoys binge-watching crime shows. Tyrone is a very large man. You don't really know anything else about him apart from the fact that he has a severe phobia of trains. Oh, fantastic. Next. Now we are upping the ante. Of course. You are on a bridge with Tyrone, watching a trolley speeding towards five people again. You can only stop it by deliberately pushing Tyrone off the bridge, blocking its path. Do you push Tyrone off the yes. bridge? Or let the train hit five people? I mean, this is murder either way. You've it really depends on what him, Even though you know full well he's terrified of trains. Then why the fuck is he near a train? Causing a man's death is different to allowing someone to die as collateral damage. True, but why the fuck is he near a train? Now, yeah, he's trying to overcome his fear of trains. Well, he will um, overcome his fear of trains in a matter of The cleaning of company with the best reviews are Happy Cleaning Limited. Who knew one body could make so much mess? You're going to have to tip them well. Fantastic. So... Wait, how do I have sent... Oh, right, right, I forgot about the, um, five, five, six, seven. Now I got it. My math is completely interesting. And because this isn't even really a point that I want to make, it's just something that I want to point out. Why the fuck is someone who is af afraid of trains near one? Like, near enough to be pushed, too. Like, that's just an interesting concept in of itself. So, again... There are no good concepts in this, but I really had to ask. Finish. A cat has nine lives. 
Now for the final core value, respect. It seems we've run out of resources to continue your testing. I'm going to need you to go and grab some mannequins. You will need to take the next trolley, so don't get distracted by that dog. The trolley leaves in one minute. Okay, this one is kind of somewhat easy. I know I've seen this one before. There is a dying dog down on the tracks. No trolleys will use that line today, so the dog will not be hit. You're in a rush. Do you kill the dog, putting it out of its misery, or leave it to die, cold and alone? Yeah, I'm just going to kill it because there, there is no good options available. This is one of those cases where you don't have enough information to make a decision. How are you and going so to do it? I don't care. Jeez. Somewhere out there, a man is missing a best friend. Oh, yeah, yeah. By the way, this adds to one of the issues, and that is there are only two choices. So you can't make a decision saying, hey, you know what? Fuck the meeting. I'm going to go take the animal to a vet. When you respect something, you're meant to care about its feelings and wishes. Instead, you just killed it. True, but I would have also left it to die anyway. So this is a situation where it would have died. Like there is no option to say, hey, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go and stop and help this animal. There is no option that's why that's an issue there are only two choices realistically speaking most people would stop go to the dog help it and say fuck it this is an issue where you are cho you having you have to choose the less lesser of two evils and no matter what you're doing you're going to be evil if you play with fire you'll get burned Fantastic, and if you... Oh, great. Go down with water, you'll I've just wet. heard those kids are back. They keep sneaking down onto the tracks. With all the training from this week, you should be able to decide a straightforward outcome for these reprobates. Just remember, respect, responsibility, and integrity. Oh, by the way, this bitch will continue to mock you no matter what. This is literally a case where I really hope she fucking dies at the end, so... Five trespassers have snuck down onto the trolley line, even though signs warn them of the dangers. The trolley is currently heading for a co-worker. Do you let your co-worker die or sacrifice the delinquents? Again, why is this a situation? I'm just going to let him die. Um, why is this a situation we're in? Now, I'm doing a run where I'm going to kill the, the least amount of people there. You would change to the my path, best of right? my knowledge. Guess you value criminals over co-workers then. Noted. You say criminals, but at the same time, is the punishment for trespassing death? You killed a co-worker. All right, then I guess your results for the first week are in. I'll run these up the flagpole and see what the suits upstairs think. I really don't give a fuck what they think. This is... Alright, let's open this Dear thing. sir or madam, we have been following your exemplar practice this week at Trolley Problem, Inc. and would like to thank you for your hard work, especially when some challenging decisions had to be made. We would like to invite you to take employment at the Trolley Health Corporation, THC. This is a prestigious position and was created to help keep the public safe through all walks of life. Super. The best laid plans go astray. It looks like you've impressed someone upstairs with last week's answers. You've been transferred to the Trolley Health Corporation, THC. THC is stoic, focusing more on justice, temperance, Courage and wisdom. We'll start with justice. I want to know what would happen if you just chose all the bloodthirsty psychopath cho choices overall. That'd be interesting. Anyway, I'll probably start a new run Today, and see if you'll choose, be in like... A&E. A young male has come in from a car accident and urgently needs a heart transplant. There's only one in the hospital, and this heart is scheduled to be given to an elderly man waiting upstairs. He will surely die without it. Who should get the heart? 
Okay, realistically, it would go to the young, it would go to neither. Hey, it would go to someone else. We can probably get the heart back off this old boy. Yeah, I'm still going with the young man. Only because he is um, just in. The young male has alcohol in his blood. Was he driving? Does it matter? I mean, at this point, any hospital would consider both of them to be shit candidates, and they neither of them would have been on the list. An elderly man wouldn't be on the list because he's too old, and the young man you probably wouldn't have been on the list because he was well driving. Done. The elderly man deserved that heart much more. Oh, oh wait, did you save the young guy? Oh, yeah, bitch. Because you would know this one because the lady would actually say, "Oh yeah, you you, you saved the um young man, right?" Because he needed to be said, oh, you saved the old man, got it. So, either way, you are fucked. This woman does not give a damn about your choices. She'll literally just treat you like shit no matter what. You can't win them all. No shit. I can't win any of them. You're late. The hospital is rammed. Every staff member has their hands full. So you're going to have to go out on the ward and help the sick, gross, decaying people. Remember, temperance. Restrain yourself and think it through. All right, let's see what the choices are. I can't even remember. A patient has begged to be euthanized. Euthanasia is currently illegal. You will have to be the one who gives the lethal dose. You will need to look into their eyes and end their life. What do you do? Now, this is interesting. Yeah, we're just going with this. The thing is, is that... We are assuming so much, and frankly... Did you know 90% of suicide survivors regret attempting it? Yeah, but this Sounds is an like extraordinary enough. case. What if they're undercover? This could be a sting operation. You'll complain either way. This one actually does hit close to home for, like, a lot of reasons, but... Because I'm not given enough information, I'm just gonna go with what they want. Oh, wow. I actually did it. I thought you would have learned not to kill people by now. Really, bitch? Really? I love how she's like, yeah, you, you would have learned. I've already killed several people. Directly, too. Let's see, what did I get? The fuck? What am I supposed to do? in choosing but slower in changing. The last few days have been tough. It was only a week ago you were on the trolleys. Today should be easier. You have a choice to make which some people would see as a good problem to have. It's just going to take courage. Brilliant. You Welcome to those who are here. Patients. Each needs a different organ, but no organs are available. A healthy young traveler comes in for a routine checkup. Their organs are compatible with all five dying patients. Do you kill the tourist and use their organs to save the five in desperate need? That's one life for five. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave Crikey. the tourist. We're getting dark now. No shit. He, he's getting away. Don't you want to save the many? Is his life worth it? Yes, because it's about choice and consent. Which I'm gonna go and choose consent if I can. Again, this situation does not allow you to make anything else, so why you else let would I? five people die today? You probably should have looked into their backgrounds. Looks like one was researching into improving vaccines. Hopefully that won't be an issue down the road. Basically, the idea is, like, do we consider one person's consent? Because, at the same time, does it matter? If that person... Again, we have only, there are only two choices. I want to reiterate that. Very important. Underline it, too. There are only two choices. Normally, we would have the option to make better choices by saying, hey... Let's talk about this and let's give some dialogue, but there is no back and forth. It is literally just you making decisions on behalf of other people. So, in and not on top of that, you have to make the decisions really quickly. So, is it really fair on you and are you at fault when you were put in this kind of situation overall? 
You can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. Fantastic. You have been promoted yet again. How? You now run the hospital. You've been asked to roll out a new vaccine in Central City. This vaccine will stop a large number of children from becoming severely ill, but you'll need to deal with their parents. We need your words of wisdom. How the fuck did I manage to get promoted? I murdered several people. Like, by law. Several of these have to be considered murder. Do you start a mandatory vaccination program among children to stop this endemic? Slight problem. Clinical trial data suggest the vaccine will make one in five children severely ill, much worse than the virus itself. One in five is a huge amount. Fuck no. Don't tell me you're in charge of a hospital and an anti-vaxxer. Except this is a situation where it isn't just a 0.1%. It's 25 fucking percent. No, it's 20%. Still, though, 20 fucking percent for a vaccine. This would make sense if it was a medication, but not a vaccination. Well, you've definitely made a name for yourself. Next, you'll be telling me you believe in healing crystals, coloured auras, and ghosts. That's a big assumption. Considering the fact that this is a vaccine and it has a 20% rate of getting people sick. One in five is not a number that you just fuck around with. Holy shit. That means out of a hundred people who get a vaccine, 20 of them will get sick. 20. This is even worse than a 1 in 10 odds. Like, even if it was 1 in 10, that would still be pretty shit. No one would, like, say, hey, yeah, by the way, we're gonna do that. Beggars be choosers. Neither can you, bitch. Your hospital is getting noticed. You're now going to have to make some big decisions. They will affect a lot of people. What was they doing previously? While choosing, always keep in mind justice, temperance, courage, and wisdom. The people need you to be stoic. I love how it's like, now you have to make a decision. It's really the vaccine. One in five could basically get sick and die, but oh no. And that wasn't a major decision. Will you try to develop breakthrough medicines for the endemic? While testing... Placebos will be given to thousands of ill patients. Without proper treatment, some will die today in the hope you could make a breakthrough tomorrow. Do you start the research or continue treating patients as usual? Start research. At this is a situation to where it's still the same. Before, you know. Yeah, but at the same time, they're going to die anyway. There How is much do these candies and eggheads even cost? How much do you get paid to be a fucking hunt? That's a question. After she talks, I'll explain something. Developing new medicines is a smart move. Let's just let others treat the patients. Hopefully they will. So, here's the thing. So, um, I want to undo this one, actually. So, um, okay, ALS. There are a lot of people who have ALS who want the treatments. The treatment, the possibility for a treatment for a fatal disease is possibility of treat for treatment of a fatal disease is much better and greater then it's greater than the risk of dying. Basically, this is a real life problem. So for a lot of people who are in, um, who are tr the, um, who have ALS, which basically is a d um, disease that deteriorates the body and makes it so you will die. Many of the people were denied treatment because it wasn't given approval by the FDA. And many of these people said, look, the possibility of me getting treated from this basically fatal problem is so much better than you just worrying about it. I will die either way. 
Why can't I die furthering progress? Again, this goes back to there are only two choices. We don't have enough context. And so I don't feel bad because... Wait, what? Ill children? I... Oh, right, right, right. People killed, ill children. I rejected vaccines because obviously... Finish. Dear insert underscore name. Congratulations. This letter is to certify that I have examined your work and believe you to be a perfect fit to fill the open position here in our artificial intelligence division. I'm genuinely in curious this role, how the fuck this is possible. You will help to develop the next generation of driverless cars. Me. Familiarity breeds contempt. Well, la di da, another promotion. You're now in charge of a private self-driving automotive division, SAD. First things first, your artificial <laughs> intelligence needs some direction. Okay, I shouldn't find that as funny, but yeah, your self-driving automotive dis division. Sad. That's pretty clever, actually. A self-driving car is traveling along a single lane mountain road and is fast approaching a narrow tunnel. The car has two passengers. A child runs across the road but trips, blocking the tunnel entrance. Should the AI car hit and kill the child, or swerve off the cliff, killing both passengers? Yep, we're going to nothing this one. about these people. Maybe they have children to take care of. Yeah, but you said two adults. You put this car on the road, do you not feel responsible for their deaths? In a way, yes, but at the same time, this is not part of the protocol. This isn't the car many men now functioning. This is a situation that's crazy. There is a bigger issue here. How does the computer know that something in the road is human? Do we have good enough data sets? Currently, a lot of AI only recognizes white men. Now that is an issue. Why do we have that situation overall? Because we don't have enough information. It's not like I could just go in and change everything. Again, there are only two choices, and you can't prevent any of this shit. You can prevent any of this shit. Necessity is the mother of invention. Ooh, someone's in trouble. The investors didn't like your last answer. They're also pissed because you brought up the data set thing. This AI stuff is hard. I'm rooting for you this time. No, you're not. You need to choose how you want to carry on developing the car's AI. Do you want to focus on a model that would always save as many lives as possible in an accident, or a system that would save our passengers at any cost? Wait, but that would mean the passengers too. I mean, I get the idea that, like, okay, it would- Will people buy cars that will kill them? This is assuming that the cars are shit. We're saving most. Well, hopefully people don't mind dying for total strangers. Yeah, fantastic. This is completely bullshit, but oh well. Either way. See all of the listed reasons below. Why this completely bullshit? Discriminate against okay. minorities and women. How can it work this out if it doesn't deem black women to be people? Why are we assuming that a, um... Okay. Valued customers. If you don't, if you buy from us, you're not a valued Honesty customer. Honesty is the best policy. All right. The technology these cars have in them is amazing. We know where everyone is at all times. Passengers just have to use an app to call them, and the closest one will be there in minutes. You can even make small talk with the AI while traveling. It's always listening. This doesn't sound that great. A man is on trial. Police believe he committed murder. Allegedly, the AI's mic recorded a private conversation where the man confesses. Users don't know it's always recording. 
the defendant has denied access to their files. Do you bypass security and invade their privacy? Yes. You're happy to just let a potential murderer walk the streets? No, wait. There we go. Invade oh, privacy. I got that mixed up. That's quite an internet history you have. Oh, yeah. At the same time, though, there are a lot of crimes that are only available via the internet, and we actually have to do that. Invasion of privacy is invalid when you literally commit a crime. I have a feeling the investors upstairs will be happy with this. They can publicize how their cars are helping to defeat the terrorists. Yeah, and computer cr um Okay, how do I put this in a very delicate way? There are some crimes that involve children and computers. And the thing is, is that if we went by the logic that, well, we can't invade people's privacy, we can't go on their personal computers and literally do that, then we're allowing thousands and thousands of people who are fundamentally committing heinous acts against children to go away scot-free. So, which one is it? This is not a situation that I'm going to feel guilty over because we are literally in a situation right now where we have already determined that this is completely acceptable. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Exactly. So the company has moved into delivery services now. They move pretty quick around here. Sounds like they've got some pretty important cargo. Good luck with the new workload. One of your cars has no passengers, but is carrying an irreplaceable prototype with the potential to end global Oh, you've global got to be fucking warming. kidding me. Fast approaching a narrow tunnel, once again a child runs across the road but trips. Should your AI kill the child or swerve off the cliff, losing the prototype? Why is there only one prototype? That's not that important to me either. No, seriously, why is there only one fucking prototype? Is global warming even real? Yeah, fuck it. Might as well. But seriously though, why the fuck is there one prototype? Oh cool, I gotta kill the child for once. We have just recovered the child's body. Someone had to go and collect it. I don't think we'll be able to make a memorial statue without a photo. There isn't much left to go on. How do we not know? Where the fuck is this kid's pa um, parents? There are a lot of questions that don't uh, end up being answered. And I got the Heartless Award. I got a vegan cookbook. Clearly I'm vegan. What goes around, comes around. Neat. Well, this is embarrassing. We need some backup over at Trolley Problem, Inc. Tommy, Tyrone's rotund twin, is a very large villain. I think that dead dog may have belonged to him. Maybe that's why he's here? Why didn't you save the dog again? Does it matter? Oh, no. Tommy has lured five people onto the track. They'll never be able to get out of the way in time. Oh, this he is, is easy. standing up on the bridge watching. If you push him in front of the trolley, it will stop. Or you can stay out of this and let the police handle it. Ideally, he needs medical help. Yeah, well, fuck. Um, the fuck? Oh yeah, we have to be reminded about the yeah, dog. He isn't trying to kill you, even after the dog debacle. Yeah, but he's trying to kill other people. And that's what matters. He doesn't see you as the fact. I mean, very large villain. How is this? We literally have cops do this all the time. I'm genuinely confused. If only you'd save that dog. Hopefully the media won't find out about this. People may blame you for his death. They'll blame you anyway. Every man has his price. Oh good, you're back. Everyone's getting into subscription services these days, so let's try that. Nope. Instead of selling something to someone once, let's make them keep paying for it. Let's keep that money rolling in. Fuck no. The investors have come up with an idea, but we need to run it by you. No, those, those are... Should we develop a subscription plan so that our customers, 
who pay monthly are valued more by the car during its accident prevention calculations. Excuse me? Fucking hell. This so is all sounding pretty communist to me. Awesome. Communism all the way. Who are you to decide how people spend their money? Um... Easy, actually. Subscription services are of the devil and they can go fuck themselves. Anybody who thinks that subscription services, need, we need more of them, can go to hell. This is a very I don't want stance. to question your decision. You've obviously thought long and hard about it, but well, this is a bit awkward. I wasn't aware you were such a spineless commie. Next, you'll say you're going to pay the company taxes. Wow, I'm going to have to pay the company taxes. Which I already do. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, considering the fact that this is basic economics. I would be greedy capitalist otherwise, so I'm going to take the uh, spineless ca uh, communist. Because that's so much better than being a complete cunt. It's better to be safe than sorry. Sounds like we have some leaky workers. The subscription prototype has gotten out to the media, so we're going to have to go full damage control mode here. Awesome. The subscription prototype leaked. You need to fire a department to save face. Do you fire the five graduates, who can probably get new jobs, or fire Francis, a lovely old soul who won't be able to find a job? There's no way of knowing who is actually responsible. Hey, let's fire Francis. Especially since he'd be more likely to actually... Question. Harsh. Yeah, fuck him. Anyway. I'm genuinely confused. I said no what to the subscription the prototype. What a sad end to a life. Again, we're going back to... There are not that many options. I wouldn't look at the obituaries today. Turned out this job was everything to France. Okay, I'm waiting for the frames to... Okay, there we go. I knew this was going to be an end. Because I actually suggested that, like, the last time, and it turns out no matter what you do in this situation, someone dies. No, seriously. The previous one, someone actually kills themselves, and this guy, he also does that too. Um, so... Or at least it's implied. He either dies... He, someone dies. Watch the donut, not the hole. Great. So, the prototype subscription-based AI car has a fatal error. I didn't go it with that. It has been coded to avoid hitting subscribers at all costs, wait, but wait a minute, but I didn't choose a subscriber model. hunting them down. What the fuck so was the far, point? it's run over five colleagues. This one is a doozy. Did, did, wait, wait, seriously? My, my choices have absolutely no fucking consequence? I said no. Why should I feel guilty when I didn't even choose this? Fuck off. An experimental car has stalked what and murdered five colleagues. Do you throw the coders of the project under the bus and have them arrested for negligence, or do you save them by blaming it on the possessed devil car, as it was clearly an accident? The car, I didn't even make it. This can't be mine. I didn't choose it. That's a spooky take, but no one will actually buy. I don't care. I'm going to stand by the coders. Unless for some reason Does someone else decided to make get possessed by an artificial demon? As opposed to what? A real one? I know, but I'm not blaming the coders. The AI car has been shipped down south. Don't worry, someone is going to exorcise it before it gets crushed. Today. Okay, now that just finish. I, I don't get it. I said no. Like a if two you're out not of five paying stars, for the this product, is bullshit. then you are the product. 
Due to the killer car, we may need to pivot away from selling hardware. How about we get into the software industry? How about a free car ride service? Uh, fuck. New idea. Users get shown ads while they travel for free in driverless taxis. We get paid by the marketing agencies for gradually changing the behaviours of our passengers through constant commercials. The users would be our product, not the driverless cars. Nope. I'm into capitalist all the way. No one wants to own things anymore. Oh my gosh, what? Why don't you want people to have free travel? Because I don't want them to become the product. And this goes down a really super slow- I can't believe I got out of 75. What the fuck? I'm selling, selling 75 cars every time I click one. <laughs> We're going to make enough money to go to space. But hang on. We're so wealthy that people are talking about you on social media. There are now rumours that you run a human trafficking ring with miners. People do not like you at all. Cool. A fool and his money are soon parted. Oh, these last few days have been a PR nightmare. You can't win with journalists. Of course not. We need to do something to show we have morals. I will find some money to get us through this. Spend it quick. All right, let's to see. help with public relations, we're going to give some profits back. Do you want to give money to our loyal customers worldwide who you've tricked into buying your products, or to your underpaid workers who've been through so much because of you? Yeah, we're going to go with my uh, workers. They won't get a lot each. Neither will the customers. The amounts we're talking about may be seen as an insult. I'm having a feeling that this will be looked at no matter what. Maybe buying love like this isn't the best way. If we want to share our extra profit fairly, it should probably just go to the publicly appointed government. Almost like a tax. Yes! But let's not call it that. Yes, let's do that! But you didn't give me that fucking choice, now did you? Oh, Rome wasn't built in a day. Neither was your fucking bitchy You're trending, but now we're going to get copycats. Soon everyone is going to be developing AI. Only the smartest and most ruthless will be profitable. Is that true evolution? Awesome. A competitor is advertising a similar car. The difference is, their AI is fantastic. It doesn't even discriminate against women or minorities. Do you lie in your advertising to get the upper hand, or tell everyone your car is still closed-minded? Why the fuck didn't I get a choice to... Fuck it. Tell the truth. If the customers stay loyal, does that mean they support racism? Does it matter? Poor white trash isn't really the driverless car clientele. Yeah, neither is lying. Let me get this straight. People know we don't spend time developing our software for women or people of colour, but still use our products. That's outrageous. They only care how easy it is for themselves. That's actually pretty interesting that I'm getting, like, every other one. One, two, three. The best things in life are free. Due to your technology, our world is changing. People are losing their jobs to machines, which in turn makes items and services more accessible and affordable for countless consumers. But with worldwide unemployment at an all-time high, what do you plan to do about it? Well, that's an interesting concept. If you develop your AI further, many will lose their jobs. Taxi drivers, delivery men and women, and couriers will become extinct within a few years, but you will make a lot of money. Do you? 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 Do
for ceasing development, though this will make absolutely no fucking difference. No Worried seriously. about fame? Mm. Work is hard, isn't it? Have you always been this basic? Yep. I, I don't know what's going on. Someone else will continue to evolve this AI, making it stronger, more intelligent, and easier to adapt. We can't stop the singularity if we aren't involved. I won't be able to stop it anyway. I'm giving the illusion of choice. A bad workman always blames his tools. We've been attacked. I don't want to alarm you, but I can't turn off these alarms. Also, I have alarming news. Five cars have been hacked and are now under someone else's control. Neat. Five cars have been hacked. It is now a major concern that more vehicles could be remotely commandeered. This is tough. Yes, we recall all Do of them. Do you recall all cars which could be compromised or roll out a quick but potentially ineffective software update and hope for the best? Yep, we're going to be uh, recalling it because that's the moral thing to do. So you're letting the terrorists win? How is it winning? I generally want to know. If the cars can't drive themselves, how can we get them all back here? How are we supposed to just let them not do anything anyway? Just like my father. He would try to keep everyone happy, but ultimately just get in the way. Having said that, I think even he would see this as a lost cause and move on. Okay, and this has nothing to do with anything, but, uh, fuck the narrator. Let's see here. No, that's not what I wanted. Hopefully that's finished. Too wrong. No. Two wrongs don't make a right. One of the big brains in the lab has been able to reverse engineer the hacking code and fix this mess once and for all. We also know their method of breaking into the system. I bet it was our competitor. I'm going to say yes. Using the fix from our hacked cars, we've made our own hack, which you can now use to control our competitors' cars. I bet it was them who attacked us in the first place. So, will you hack our competitors? Nope. We're choosing the high ground. Besides, this isn't like I made any They're of these all choices. They're sitting over there now, laughing at us. No shit. But this is an assumption. It's not like we're going to kill. After going through this hacking code, I don't think a human could have written it. I'll dig into this a little more. You carry on. Which means AI did it. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. This is it. An employee knows everything. They have monitored and recorded every decision you've made and are going to the media. I have been able to talk them into a meeting with you on the rooftop right now. Cool. Everything you've done and said is going to be shared with the world. The person in front of you has copies of it all. They stand on the edge of the rooftop, looking out at the central city skyline. What are you going to do? You know what? I'm going to actually do the right thing. Why kill someone when it's just going to prolong the inevitable? And besides... You never won any medals as a child, did you? No, but I don't care. Your epitaph is going to be horrendous. That's if anyone even shows up to hear it. But an epitaph is on the, f the gravestone. It could be on a gravestone. It doesn't matter if they hear it. 
The fuck? You have resigned. You will be remembered alongside the murderers and the diddlers. If anyone hires you after this, they must truly be desperate. I mean, given the fact that we're all in shitty situations, they probably wouldn't have, like, believed me anyway. Finish. Dear Redacted, we've been watching you closely. Your ruthlessness and determination to do what is necessary. The development of your technologies is a giant step towards Redacted, meaning you are a prime candidate for Redacted. This involves a large amount of Redacted. If you believe you can handle Redacted, as we trust you can, then please prepare for your induction at Redacted. All right. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. It appears you've now been headhunted by the Secret Service. Every decision has led you here. Now what you do actually matters. You must trust the judgment of those you work alongside. With that said, let's finalize your training. The fuck? You're in a foreign land. Wind whips your face as you grip your rifle tightly, waiting to be given your target. Through your earpiece, you're told to shoot the person on your left. You know nothing about them, the repercussions, or the reason for the assassination. Then don't do it. You You've can't been picked from thousands. They're gonna have egg on their face. Awesome. Let them. These aren't people you should disagree with. I'll disagree with anybody. Fuck the police. Man, I just got political. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure this is the police. I don't follow this. You being defiant has got you the job? These guys are just making it up as they go along. Here's your badge <gasps> and weapon. I love that. It's like, uh, you didn't kill this person. But hey, well, well fuck it. We're just going to hire you anyway. Strike while the iron is hot. Here we go. You've been given a partner and a support team of five. Your mission is to terminate a man known to have connections with dangerous AI. Looks like they worked for you, possibly someone you fired. Get in the plane. Your team is about to take off. Neat. Um, I don't know how to say this, but there is a bomb on the plane. If it doesn't kill you outright, you're probably going to crash in the mountains. You have to get all the switches into their left position to deactivate the bomb. The catch is, you have to move two at once. What? Hurry up! If you die, what happens to me? Bitch, there is no solution to this puzzle! I would like you to know, this is all your fault. Yeah, there is no way to solve this. Ouch! Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm safe. You look a little stuck. We could be here a while. Hopefully we have enough food. Looks like your support team survived. An empty vessel makes much noise. After crash landing in no man's land, you're trapped under parts of the wreckage and must pass the time and help boost morale. The plane has five surviving crew members. They look to you and your partner for entertainment. Who the fuck is my partner? Why do I have to say this out loud? Fine. Your partner asks, to save your life, what would you rather your brain be placed inside? A dachshund or a flamingo? This is the dumbest question ever. Eh, yeah, might as well go with flamingo. You get to fly. Oh my god, you answered. Oh no shit, I answered. A flamingo? If you're going to answer, at least take it seriously. I want to fly. Ow. 
I believe I can fly. <laughs> a flamingo. So cringe. When we get out of here, let's leave this out of the biography. Pretty sure we'd leave it out of the biography anyway, because it's not that interesting. An ounce of protection is worth a pound of cure. Absolutely. Your partner secretly shows you they have food. Almost like they expected something like this to happen. The crew members are starving. If they don't eat soon, they will surely die. Due to the nature of the food, you can share it with the five survivors or let your partner keep their life-saving possession, which they bought with their own money. Who do you give the food to? You're just going to steal a person's food? Yes, because we're in a situation where we need to save other people. In fact, given how- Robin Hood was a terrorist, you know. Cool. Given how much calories, it shouldn't just be enough for five people. It should be enough to keep people alive for a while. I mean, it's pizza. Pizza contains a shit ton of calories. Oh, well, someone's gonna die. So you're a follower of Murphy and Nagel's The Myth of Ownership. I'm more a fan of Nozick's What's Mine is Mine. You should give it a read. Educate yourself. Super. Easy come, easy go. The fellow passengers have been trying for hours to free you from the wreckage. You may end up dying here unless you do something pretty drastic. We may need to start removing limbs. Were you ever told why you were sent after this target? Nope. The only way to free yourself from the wreckage is to cut off some body parts. Two tools lie on the floor in front of you. A bone saw, which will be slow, or a blowtorch, which will be more painful. Blowtorch, because it also um, cauterizes the wound and makes it so you don't die. This isn't even that difficult of a decision to be making, because it's about what- What happens if you run out of fuel? At least you'll be warm for a moment. What happens if I manage to hit an artery? That's a bigger question. Hot dog, this is gonna smell. She sounds so happy about it, too. While you were playing with fire, I found out who you're targeting. They worked for you, developing AI. It seems they may have made a breakthrough, which means the government wants them dead. Oh, uh Wait a minute, but this would have been an awful idea to begin with. Everything is an awful idea in this game. It's no use crying over spilt milk. When does this game fucking end? Finally, we are now back on track. Your target is in the area. You need to remove them and escape unnoticed. Your mission is to remove a hostile in the shopping district. Completing this objective could potentially save thousands, but there will be five civilian casualties. Do you take your shot? Oh yeah, let's just subtly do this, you know? Stealthily with an RPG. Let's just use a fucking bomb. That's stealthy. You're not going to be thanked for this. Why the fuck would I use an RPG to stealthily kill anybody? You've bottled it, haven't you? Yeah, but if I killed six, then I would have bottled it anyway. While you were thinking about possibly doing something, two henchmen with vice-like grips take you away. It's not going well, is it? Uh, fail project. So five people killed. I actually have a very small amount of people who died. Two heads are better than one. This is actually going really well, considering. You wake up in solitary confinement. The prosecutor lacks evidence to convict you and your associate on the principal charge they have enough to convict both on a lesser charge. Both of you are given the opportunity to betray the other by testifying or remain silent. You and your associate have the opportunity to betray the other by testifying. If you both stay silent, you'll be imprisoned for one year. 
If one betrays the other, they will be free, while the other will be sentenced to three years. If you both betray each other, it's two years each. I'm gonna Always take the risk. Silent for you. Does it matter? At this point, though, you're just gonna not say anything. Three years is a long time in prison. So is two years. And so is one. Basically, unless you get really lucky, there's you no- You silent, idiot. Your partner knows better. They have dropped you right in it. Neat, then they probably would have stayed silent. There is no ideal outcome. A rod for your own back. The time has come. Two days into your sentence, you've constructed a wooden key to open your cell. The cell stands open, but your cellmates, who have been there their whole lives, don't move. Escaping the prison, do you let the prisoners choose to stay in captivity or insist they escape with you? They aren't happy behind bars, but they're scared to follow you. What are you going to do? I might as well force them to leave. <sighs> I didn't realize how much I would be just Did repeating the same things at nauseum because this is basically just the same problem over and over and over again. With just like a slightly different coat of paint. You'd usually impose your will on people like this. No, not really. <gasps> You're stripping their whole reality from them. They're used to the chains. I guess for them it's better the devil they know. Don't cross a bridge until you come to it. While sneaking out of the prison, you have the jump on a group of henchmen who are on a break. Do you sneak past, securing your safety, or avenge those who this terrorist organization have killed? How do I avenge it if I... five henchmen, helping to defeat this terrorist organization, or leave them and safely exit the compound? I'm gonna choose the pacifist route. Again, there are only two choices. You were trained to kill. I've barely killed anybody. Your country folk would want you to remove them. Fantastic, my country folk are also complete fucking morons when it comes down to it. Oh wow, cowardly sneaking past them, you see they're robots. They have your logo on the back of their necks. And you made these terrorists? These monsters? Neat. People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Finally, you reach the water, fleeing the AI terrorists who commandeer a boat to get back home. There are also families here who've been displaced by the war you're fighting. The war you started. Five others are also trying to flee the area. They will fit in your raft, but would be illegal immigrants when returning to your country. Do you help these people, saving their lives? Or follow the law and leave them behind? Fuck the law. Morality matters more. Voters back home will thank you for this. Wait, what? Hmm. Immigration is a real problem, according to the privileged. Oh, she's gonna somehow find it a way that it's like me being evil. I just know it. You get back to this great nation with fanfare. You're a hero. I guess people aren't all monsters. Oh, wait, seriously? I. Holy shit, this is the first time I ever get a, you did a good thing. Holy fuck, finally. Yeah, I saved five people because it's obviously the right thing to do. All right. The presidential inaugural committee requests the honor of your presence 
to attend and participate in. If you can't beat them, join them. Having gone through everything you have, your countrymen genuinely think a lot of you. In an unlikely turn of events, you have become president. Hey, finally we get some recognition the threat for is still at large, beings. and now you're in charge. Do you attempt to track the terrorists by spying on the entire country? No. This is an easy question, no. Because when we used to do that, we also had a lot of people who would basically just target people because What's they the looked issue? bad. The public has nothing to hide. Um, what is it? If you give up freedom for security, you deserve neither freedom uh -huh. nor security. Ignoring the issue. The first sign of a great leader. I don't think the public will be happy knowing you're doing nothing. Lucky for you, by chance, we have someone in the holding cell. Why is this lucky? Good thing I got it. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. You have someone who potentially is linked to these threats. However, they aren't talking. As a former prisoner yourself, what are you going to do with them? Do you torture them to get the information? Or imprison them for 90 days before letting them go? There's no in-between? And we're just going to detain them. Torture A doesn't work. B, it gives you false information. And C, it's just wrong. So... There's that. You just want to detain them and hope they'll talk. Well, it's better than torture. Which doesn't work. This isn't indefinite detention. That would violate many national, international, and human rights laws. So would torture. suspect looks pretty relaxed in their cell. Good for them. Terrorizing must really tire a person out. Adversity and loss make a man wise. You travel to your presidential retreat at Camp Samuel. Everyone falls silent listening to the radio. Breaking news. Terrorists have launched an atom bomb towards Central City. It will hit in around one minute. The fuck? The only way in which the bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by deflecting it. But the only deflection path available will take the bomb onto Merriwin. Population 600,000. Central City is one of the world's major commercial, financial, and cultural centers. This is a case where you're fucked either way. Central City can have a parade for the lost. It will be tasteful. No big character balloons. As you sow, so you shall reap. Interesting. Breaking news. Terrorists' atom bomb is running late and will hit Central City in one minute. Wait, what? We have new information. The only way this bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by dropping one of your own atom bombs on Merriwin. The shockwave from your bomb will damage and disarm the terrorists. I thought we already agreed, uh, agreed to destroy uh, Merriwin. Those people have worked their whole lives to get out of the city. What a waste. And yet the people in the city deserve to die too? After this. There's no turning back. Interesting. You have destroyed Merriwin. Your own AI forced your hand into killing 600,000 people. You have officially created the most successful homegrown terrorist organization in history. Great job. Funny, I chose all the options that said no. No AI. No anything. All's well that ends well. Please tell me this is over. While the public mourns the dead, 
You must think of the future. You finish the drink in front of you before realizing it has been poisoned. You're going to die. Hmm. Poisoned, you must now decide your legacy. Do you call the AI enemy you yourself created, taking all blame to end any future conflict? Or do you ghost them, knowing your death will start a war in your honor? If the country found out you know terrorists, the history books will not look favorably on you. The history books won't look favorably anyway, and I'm about to die, so thank god this is about to end. If you have this hotline to the terrorists, why have you not rung them before? You never gave me the option. After finishing your constructive call, you sit back in your chair, waiting for death. Too bad, the AI knows you would have liked to end it all here and now. The poison has damaged some vital organs, so we need to start some long, arduous and painful treatments. Wait, I'm still alive? Christ. Curiosity killed the cat. Unfortunately, it didn't kill me. You're taking a lot of medication as of late. I'm not sure if self-medicating, in the traditional sense, is the way to go. We need to be a little radical here. Let's introspect and make some changes. Uh. Here. If you take the blue pill, then your story ends here. You'll wake up every day knowing your work for someone else your entire life. Whereas, if you take the red pill, you will enter Wonderland. Finding out how deep this rabbit hole really goes. Which pill will you take? I didn't see you as someone that stands back watching the world go by. I I'm just going to say it. A quitter. Yeah, I'm going to choose quitting. It's nothing more than a suicide pill, but you do you. Yeah. Either this ends or this proves that there is literally no free will and I will have to be suffering forever. Besides, I can always resume this later. Well done. You found your place in society. It was nice to have spent time with you. Good luck with the rest of your so-called life. Man, you sound so bitter. Please tell me it's over. I've had enough of this bitch today. Oh, thank fuck. Like, I, I expected to have much more interesting prospects instead of this bullshit. I'll probably eventually return to it at some point. I said it would be long, but... Jesus Christ. I didn't think it'd be this fucking stupid. If you like the game, please leave a rating. Ah, oh, so I only have 50%. Oh well. Let's see your campaign. Problem select. Back. Back. Might as well do a raid. Like so. Water. There we go. Categories and video producer. Raid channel. And we're gonna raid Lauren um LV. Start raid. So 
thank you so much for watching. Um, was expecting the game to be this fucking stupid. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Have a nice night. Have a nice day. Wherever you are, just have a good one. And now, on to the raid. First. We'll work our way from top down. Ah, uh, no jacket here. That sucks. I feel this run better than the last one. I feel more confident in this one than the last one. Oh. Let's see what we can do here. Wait, why didn't this work? Quick raid, damn it. Catch up for chat. Okay, Summer, no problem. See you when you get back. Say hello to Wands for me. What? Absolutely. That challenge he's doing is absolutely crazy, Summer. <laughs> but that's Wands. He loves punishment, I guess. I suppose I do, too. I punish myself a lot, too, in this game. 